Subscribe to smartphone tutorials and hit the notification bell icon to get instant notification. Hey guys, welcome to another video and I'm really excited for the topic today because you know which ROM is there. It is RR, Resurrection Remix, my favorite when it comes to custom ROMs. It's been more than 10 years that I've been using custom ROMs on different Android phones. And yes, Resurrection Remix has been there for at least five years now and it has not you know failed to impress me on each and every iteration the latest one that we talk about for the k20 pro is based on android 10 so there are a lot of features customization amazing boot animation and stuff like that we will be doing a quick review on this post this video so in today's video we will quickly go through the installation steps and then we will have a quick look how exactly the rom looks and on the first boot are there any things or any errors or bugs which would stop you from using it but before we do all of that if if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a video now in the description we have a link to our discord server so please go ahead and check the server out as well and join if you wish and without further ado hello awesome people welcome to smartphone tutorials my name is kalash let's get going All right, guys, it's time for another video. And as I said in the intro, I'm really, really excited about this particular ROM because, hey, we are talking about Resurrection Remix based on the latest Android 10. And we have an updated version available for the K20 Pro. Now, first things first, I'm just going to run you through the basics that are needed and quick installation steps. I do have a dedicated video on how to install a custom ROM on the K20 Pro. Now, I really don't want you to go through that entire video just to see the steps. So I have this series of install and preview in which in the first part, we actually install the ROM quickly and have a first impressions on how exactly the ROM looks or are there any major bugs which would stop you from using it. Now, once we are through that, I actually use the ROM for a couple of days and give you a quick review. By doing this, we get, you know, a win-win situation wherein you get to see how to install it a first impression and then a full review as well and we can cover more ground as well anyways enough talking let's get to business so what we need well of course we need a k20 pro i suggest you have more than 50 percent battery i might not have now but i would suggest you to do that for safety reasons all of your data should be backed up i cannot stress on that enough because in all of my videos i prefer to have a clean flash wherein I erase everything including internal storage and format data to avoid encryption decryption issues. Now I know there are other ways around it but I just don't like to do that, call me lazy. I do have the ROM and G apps and the MIUI vendor copied to this OTG pen drive and the phone is there and we are going to flash it. I have Orange Fox Recovery, the latest version installed. That is what you would need if you wish to flash any particular ROM or even Resurrection Remix. Go to Advanced and Reboot to Recovery over here. Again, as I said in my previous video, I am going to use the F2FS file system. So there is one more additional file called the F2FS FSTAB file, which I would flash just before flashing the ROM. There you go, the beautiful orange fox boot screen. So first things first, go to Manage Partitions, Data, Format Data, Yes, OK. Now, once we format data, we will quickly reboot. Okay, so don't directly reboot, go to reboot and go to recovery here. So as quickly as it reboots, now we go to wipe and wipe everything except for USB storage because we don't have it connected yet. I will be wiping the vendor as well because I prefer flashing the vendor file again and again. If you already have the latest vendor as per the ROM requirement, you may choose to, you know, ignore that. But I prefer a clean flash. It just takes two minutes and gives you a better experience. All right. Now that we have everything wiped, we will convert the data and cache partition quickly to F2FS. So once again, go to manage partitions, select cache, change file system, select F2FS. Once again, go to Manage Partitions, select Data, Change File System, F2FS. All right, looks like we are good. It's flashing time now, so I'm going to connect my USB OTG. Okay, once you've connected your OTG, you need to go to Mount and tick mark. There you go. Go to the Files menu, select the drop down, select USB OTG. Now I'll tell you the sequence as always. 
This file you see here is my vendor, add to queue, the F2FS patch, add to queue, resurrection remix, add to queue, open G apps. So that is the sequence and let's go flashing. This flashing will take anywhere between two to three minutes. So please wait, please be patient, have a cup of coffee. All right, so as you can see, everything has been flashed. We are quickly going to wipe caches and then we are going to reboot system. And in installs and previews, you know very well, well, the boot animation is what matters. And especially when it's Resurrection Remix, the boot animations definitely matter for me. I really want to see how it is. Uh, well, this is very, very subtle and more materialistic compared to how it used to be earlier. It used to be very, very flashy and graphic -y if if there is a word like that, I don't really know. But yeah, so this is a very, very simple boot animation and with a phone which doesn't have a notch, it looks really, really clean is what I would say. Now let's wait for the phone to boot up. It's a custom ROM, so it should not take a long time to boot up. And then once I'm through the setup screen, I will quickly show you guys around and let's have a first impressions of this particular ROM. So I must say that the setup menu was pretty pretty straightforward and this is the home screen. Now as I've said in the previous videos about Pocophone F1 when it comes to custom ROM videos is this is what I look for on the first boot. I'm sorry the brightness might be a little on the higher side because we've just booted up. So yeah the amount of apps like you know 5, 10, 15 and 419. That's all that you have. On a normal day in a MIUI ROM, I would have at least 91 apps. So that really speaks a lot, how much good that does to your ROM feel. If we go to the settings menu, you have resurrection tools. Now, I would tell you one thing, first things first, first impressions look very, very solid, and you have a ton of customization over here, but we will get into that in the full review. What really matters for me over here is if we have the first thing that is very very critical for me is Wi-Fi calling. We do have voice over LTE of course and you do have Wi-Fi calling. So that is basically voice over Wi-Fi and that I think already works. Let's quickly check. Like back in the day in Poco I used to check voice over LTE like this. I think we'll have to do a reboot once. But I must tell you that from the first impressions, it looks pretty, pretty good. All the things that are required are there and the ROM feels very, very smooth. Now, one downside or a not so good thing, if you will, is that this comes with a very, very basic uh, camera application, not even Gcam. So that is something I'll have to manually install. I might have to install Magisk to get call recording. So all of those things will definitely be covered in the full video, but from the first impressions, it looks like, you know, I will be giving it a try. And after using it for a couple of days, I will share my full review thoughts with you guys. So if you like this video, guys, please hit that like button and subscribe and share it as much as you can. The regular videos are up. I will see you in the next one. Until then, keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.